This small but powerful explosive device plays a crucial role in battlefields. A grenade consists of crucial components that enable its functionality. Let us delve into the intricate components of a fragmentation grenade. First, let's look at the body. The body of a fragmentation grenade is typically made of steel or cast iron. This is designed to shatter upon detonation, creating high-velocity fragments. Some grenades have a pre-notch design to control the size and shape of these fragments, enhancing their lethality. Inside the body, we have the filler. This is the explosive material that will cause the grenade to detonate. Common fillers include Composition B, which is a mix of RDX and TNT, or sometimes just pure TNT. The filler is responsible for the explosive force that propels the fragments outward. These potent materials exhibit high detonation velocities, augmenting the grenade's impact. Next, we have the fuse assembly. This component is critical as it controls the timing of the explosion. The fuse assembly consists of several parts, the primer, the delay element, and the detonator. Grenade fuse comes in two types, time delay fuse and impact fuse. The impact fuse is the type that triggers the explosion upon colliding with a hard surface. On the other hand, time delayed fuse bestows the user with a crucial advantage, allowing the user to throw the grenade and retreat to a safe distance before it detonates. When the safety clip is released and the safety pin is removed, the safety lever is set free. This marks the moment when the grenade becomes armed and primed for the action. If the safety lever is preset, the grenade will not explode. When the pressure on the safety lever is released, the striker urged by the striker spring rotates on its axis, dislodging the safety lever, and the striker hits the primer, a small explosive seated at the top of the grenade akin to the bullet. This primer, once ignited, generates a spark that activates the delay element. The delay element ignites and burns for a predetermined duration, usually lasting between 4 to 5 seconds. At the end of this period, it reaches the detonator or igniter, composed of lead stiffenate and lead azide. These materials burns rapidly leading to the detonation of the RDX, which in turn triggers the explosive within the outer shell, causing a powerful explosion. The detonation unleashes a rapid expansion of gases within the confines of the grenade, resulting in immense pressure. Simultaneously, the outer shell acting as a shrapnel casing ruptures into fragments that scatter in all directions. These lethal fragments combined with the shockwave emanating from the explosion culminate in a destructive force capable of inflicting severe injuries and damaging everything in its range. In conclusion, the hand grenade is a dangerous and awe-inspiring marvel of science and engineering, an embodiment of controlled chaos on the battlefield. We hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching the video.